hi guys welcome back to stitched by Esther channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to stitch this pattern i made in the last video that is the dress showing on the screen right now guys please like my video subscribe to my channel please click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i upload a new video right now i've transferred the pattern to the fabric i had a two inches allowance to the sides of both the front and the back while for the center front i added half an inch allowance on both sides and also on top of the fabric i added half an inch and at the bottom of the fabric i added half an inch allowance so we we'll proceed now to the sewing machine yeah i cut out a long piece of fabric for the strap that goes all the way from the front to the back i'm, I'm using a lace fabric with a satin lining so i cut out um the lace and the satin the length is 20 inches while the weight is 3 inches. I'll be stitching half inch on both sides to close the ends. So that means I'll be left with just 2 inches for the strap. I want the width of the strap to just be 2 inches. So that is what I'm doing right now. After stitching, I'll turn it over and go over to the ironing table to press it. Yeah, I'll start joining the upper part of the dress. I added interfacing to the fabric and the lining. I also added a soft wording to the fabric to give the bust area a little bit of effect. I'm joining the front of the dress now. I'll join both sides of the front to the center front. After joining, I will make notches close to the seam, very close to the seam, so that I can be able to press it open very well. This is what we have after joining the side piece together. I'll go over to the ironing table and press open the seams so it lays nice and neat. Just like what I did with the wind fabric of the front piece, I'll also do the same thing to the lining. I'll join it together, make some notches and press it open. Now it's time to attach the lining to the back piece. Remember there is no dart at the back. If you watch the video where I drafted the pattern, I closed the dart on the pattern so there is no dart at the back of this dress. So now I will just attach the lining to the back piece. I'll close the neckline and the zip area and I'll leave the sides open. That is what I'm doing now.
Yeah, I want to attach the strap to the front. You will determine the side you want to attach the strap to, either the left side or the right side. I already pinned mine to the side I want the strap to be, so I'll stitch it down and I'll use the lining to turn the neck area of the front. Now I want to join the down parts of the front to the upper parts. I already have a video on my channel on how to draft the skirt pattern. That is why I did not show you how I drafted the down part of this dress. I will put a link in the description box so that you can check it out and know how I drafted the down part of this dress. I will just join the upper part to the down part now. That is what I want to do now. Now I'm joining the front and the back of the dress together. I've gone ahead to put the zip at the back already. So I'm just joining the sides together now. I've marked my measurement and that is what I'm using to join now. For the sleeve, I cut out the satin, the lace and the lining, same length and same width. The length is 10 inches while the width is 20 inches. I added interfacing to the lining to give it a little bit of structure. Yeah, I will close all the ends of the fabric. I will only leave a little bit of opening so that I will be able to turn it inside out. I'll stitch around the fabric and I'll leave a little bit of space for me to be able to turn it inside out. That is what I'm doing now. I'm marking on the length of the sleeve now. I want to divide the sleeve so that I can be able to make little pleats in between. You know the length is 10 inches. By the time I divide it and make some little pleats, I'll be left with just 6.5 inches. So I just want a little bit of pleats there. I don't want the, 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 the sleeve to be straight at that part. I want a little bit of pleats. So I'll just do tiny pleats there. So that is what I'm doing now. I'll do the same thing for the two sides of the sleeve and I'll attach it to the dress. To attach the sleeve to the dress now, I'll mark one inch away from the side joining for both the front and the back. So it's on that one inch mark 
that I'll attach the sleeve to. That is what I'm about to do now. I'll mark one inch away from the side seam. For both front and back, I'm marking one inch away from the side joining. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and please turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.